hello welcome back to online math so we have uh, this uh, equation right here to solve and so we have a negative for uh, six uh, power m is equal to six so what value of m is actually going to make this equation to hold that is what we are going to be solving in this video so you just want to follow through but just before we proceed if you need to our channel do what to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you actually get to know about it and of course if you are watching us on facebook do what to follow our page and also share this video to your friends so that they will get to also enjoy it okay so let's proceed so this is negative six power m is equal to six okay so first i want to split this i can actually write this negative six as negative one multiplied by six okay and all power m and of course is equal to six and then i can also go ahead to uh, split this for that of course if you have a times b power uh, let's see uh, power n you can actually uh, uh, you can actually expand this to be a power n and then multiply by b power n okay so that's what i'm going to use to uh, simplify this further so i'm going to be having negative one uh, um, power m and then multiply by six uh, power m and of course it's equal to six okay and then moving on you can remember let me see but this minus one is i can actually write minus one as exponential i pi okay so if i replace that here what i'm going to be having here is exponential i pi okay and let me multiply the m times uh, a six power m is equal to six right here okay so next i'm going to take the natural log of both sides so that i can actually bring down these powers right here so if i have natural log of exponential i pi m okay multiply by six power m is also equal to the natural log of six okay so moving further uh, I'm going to be using the rule of uh, log reading, which basically says that if you have, let's say, natural log or log of A multiplied by B, you can actually expand this to be a natural log of A plus natural log of B. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using to expand this. So if I expand this one now, I have natural log of exponential I pi M plus natural log of six as uh, six power m of course is equal to natural log of six right here okay so moving further you can also remember that if you have let's say natural log of a power b you can actually write this as uh, b uh, natural log of a so this power can actually come down so i'm going to be using these two right here so if i do that i'm going to be having these as uh, i pi m natural log of exponent okay then plus i will also apply that here so this is m natural log of six is equal to natural log of six right here and uh, of course uh, natural log of exponent will give me one over here so one times i pi m will be equal to i pi m so i'm going to write that here i pi m and uh, of course plus natural log of six okay m natural log of six that's what we have and of course is equal to the natural log of six so you can see that m is actually common here so i'm going to factorize m factorize it here i have i pi and then uh, plus uh, natural log of six okay is equal to the natural log of six over here okay so for me to get my m i'm going to divide both sides by i pi plus 
actual log of 6 okay and of course this one i pi plus natural log of 6 so that this cancels this and obviously i'm left with m to be equal to natural log of 6 divided by i pi okay uh, plus the natural log of c so this is actually the value of m that will satisfy the question we are solving okay so if you have understood that let me have your thoughts in the comment section and of course make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification icon so that we always get notified each time we release new content and i want to see you guys in my next video bye